Some people have even called them rebels. This is what all the fuss is about. It's like snow surfing. Sweet. Straight out of backside. But get real. It's difficult to condense four days and nearly 70 kilometers into one short video, but I will try. The name Skook Jim, according to BC Geographical Names Office, comes from a member of the Lilwat people. Skookum Jim was his name, and he was strong and fast enough to chase and capture mountain goats by hand. In Chinook jargon, Skookum Jim means strong. Well, we would have to be strong too for this mountain, as it would be tough. Is it worth it? I don't know. Let's find out. A very helpful sign that says trail. In case you didn't know, it's a trail. We have just climbed up above Lizzie Lake, up a steep climb and now we're entering through what they call the gates of Shangri-La, this little narrow part of the trail before we get to Lizzie Cabin. Shangri-La means an imaginary paradise on earth, especially a remote and exotic utopia, or a faraway haven or hideaway of idyllic beauty and tranquility. We enter through the gates on giant boulders. Lake. Arrowhead Lake. That was a hard day. It was hot. Whew. Took a lot of energy. The mosquitoes, the flies are bad. Um, but we're here. We're gonna have dinner and I'm excited we get to rest now. Last night we slept at Arrowhead Lake, just below the pass. Now we've all packed up and we're gonna head up to the pass, which is uh, right next to Iceberg Lake. And we have a few peaks on both sides we'll have a look at uh, before the trail kind of traverses over a ridge and drops down toward uh, Kaltha Lake and Tundra Lake to the east. And we'll make camp tonight somewhere over there possibly like by Caltha Lake or Figure 8 Lake, but let's go have a look.
tabletop mountain. Tabletop. Good job, knees. We are on the top of tabletop mountain. Two, two, three, three meters elevation and a little short drop and steep climb back up again is anemone. Look at that ridge, it looks kind of fun. So I think I'm gonna connect that ridge over to an enemy next. Pretty decent views into the stein here, although a little bit smoky, not too awful. A nice breeze to cool us down up here. We're gonna do some bushwhacking up this peak? No, it's supposed to be an easy 15 minutes. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Summit of <laughs> anemone. Right, Needs? Okay. Welcome aboard, Explorer. We are now on Anemone Peak, second in two hours. And we're at 2262 meters. I can now see why the lake we camped at down there is called Arrowhead, because it is an exact arrowhead shape. It's like a triangle, which is pretty cool. I used to uh, collect arrowheads when I was a kid. I had a couple in my collection. It's seldomly climbed, people come up here. It's kind of remote to come into this area and then to go to the extra effort to leave the Stein Trail and come up to these peaks. So I don't think that many people do. It's pretty wonderful. Lots of views. Oh. You like that? How's that taste? Tastes good? As we're connecting over the ridge, from the pass to drop down to Kaltha Lake, I'm just admiring how gorgeous this view is. It really is wonderful up here. Quite something to behold. spot of the trail as you descend down the ridge is just so scenic and gorgeous. It's like, I could picture being a mountain runner's paradise here. How are you feeling?
Catholic Lake. It has gorgeous views from the sunset. That feels good, right, Angie? Yeah. Yeah, let's take your backpack off, girl. We've just finished breakfast over here by Kalfa Lake and right after I thought I heard a woo coming from the pass but it turned out we I heard several more low mournful howls of what could be a wolf I don't know I guess wolves could be in the stein and it sounds like it's coming from the pass that we came through yesterday where that cloud is touching the ridge so that's a pretty cool thing to hear Good morning. Welcome to Mosquito Paradise. That's what I'm gonna call this camp. side of figure eight lake the clouds just cleared for us the lake underneath Skook Gym. It's glacier fed. The color is very vibrant and bright. One of the brightest I've seen. And as we came around this corner, the view is like nothing I've experienced before. We're pretty remote and this is a really, really gorgeous view that, you know, I mean, few people come out here for good reason because it's very challenging, but Views like this make it worth it. This is incredible. We have to drop down and skirt around the lake to go up Skook Gym. We can see tundra in the distance. There's a tiny little lake in front of us with icebergs in it. It's pretty amazing.
Good job, Nunes. This is the summit of Mount Skook Jim, 2,606 meters. It's a bit of a beast just because of how far back it is and how much terrain you have to cover to get here. So it feels kind of special to be up here, although a little bit sad because I'm alone with Nina. Happy to be with Nina, but Nadine didn't make it. She didn't have enough gas in the tank, so she is waiting for me halfway down. I can't spend too long up here because she's waiting, so I got a boogie to get out of here, but the clouds are swirling around. It feels pretty remote, and it's really gorgeous up here. Pretty big day, considering we came all the way from Kaltha Lake this morning. Gotta get a move on, save some time, even though the backdrop is gorgeous. Kinda wanna stay up here soak it in for a while isn't that special was challenging. I feel like childbirth might be easier. Don't hate me for saying that, but that was difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. It's a wet morning here at Kaltha Lake. We gotta pack up and get out of here and go from Kaltha Lake all the way back past Lizzie to the trailhead in a day, in a day push. Probably not many people do that distance in one go. But that's what we're doing today in the clouds and the rain.
The seemingly never-ending march down the trail gave me plenty of time to reflect on all the kilometers, mosquitoes, ups and downs, and vast, rugged beauty of this area. Our time passed like water tumbling down the creek. Here one moment, gone the next. Like the continuous passing of time. 